Grants Pass or PRWEB June 8, 2018 date aired May 7, 2018 guest Robert M. Weir, http colon slash slash www.robertmore.com Sharon Klein, host of the nationally syndicated The Sharon Klein Hour Power of Water, Global Climate Change in Your Health Radio program sponsored by Nature's Tears, I Must on Voice America, believes it is her responsibility to educate listeners all over the world about evaporation, Earth's water crisis and the need for new water research and technology to combat the explosion of diseases in the world. Are you aware of the fact? Klein said that it takes 635 gallons of water to make one hamburger? Or that it takes 35 gallons of water to make one cup of coffee? It's true when you account for the watering, cattle and coffee bean plants. Klein believes that a resurrected proactive spirit of collaboration and activism are necessary to bring about health and change, and that is why she was delighted to welcome activist and world traveler, Robert M. Weird at her program recently. Weir, who had just returned from a six-month visit to Calcutta, India, is the author of the best-selling piece, Justice, Care of Earth, The Vision of John McConnell, founder of Earth Day. On his extensive travels, Weir avoids hotels and stays and works with the common people who inspire his lectures and stories. Staying in a poor section of a city in which there are 40,000 inhabitants per square mile, Weir discovered a wonderful sense of community. There was amazing religious diversity. Weir said, and people got along because they live so close together. They rely on one another. Weir said, they help each other and believe in one another. This sense of community is lacking in our Western society. It really does take a village to raise a child, said Weir, echoing Hillary Clinton. In Calcutta, I witnessed community in action, and I loved it. Klein, also the co-founder and research director of Biologic Aqua Research Water Life Science, praised Weir's book and invited him to talk a little about it. Weir explained that the book was largely inspired by the founder of Earth Day, the visionary John McConnell. Weir described how McConnell announced Earth Day at the United Nations in 1969. A year later, the first International Earth Day celebrations took place on March 20, 1970. My book is a primer for people getting together, said Weir. McConnell believed that peace was not just the absence of war, but the understanding of others' perspectives. McConnell also believed that justice meant everyone sharing the world's resources. Nowhere is this more important than in the field of water, Klein and Weir agreed. Only 3% of the world's water is fresh and clean, yet only 1% is usable. We must do better than that, said Klein, or we shall face extinction, asterisk if you would like to listen to this program, please click here, https colon slash slash www.voiceamerica.com slash episode slash 70614 slash the dash Sharon dash Klein dash hour if you would like to share your thoughts about Robert Weir's book and travel, please contact us at Sharon at biologicacquersearch.com 800-367-6478 till defax 541-474 Two one two three http colon slash slash www.naturesteers.com or on Twitter at a Sharon Planer.